morning. It's day 143 and it's October 26th. And we are leaving camp at 9 and we're not lost yet. <laughs> A much better improvement from yesterday. Uh, yeah, Sinking Creek Mountain is back that way. Oh, man. Ooh. Ah. It uh, wasn't as cold last night as the night before, but still in the 30s. <laughs> still in the 30s. We can't, uh, there's old Shaniqua back there. But uh, we can't wait to when we get to uh, my cousins. They live in Princeton, West Virginia, uh, near Beckley. Um, but uh, yeah, I can't wait to get there. And Oh, just, I can't, we're getting, we're gonna buy so many warm clothes, it's gonna be so nice. Sending home my shorts town shirt. I'm sending home a lot of stuff. Well, not a lot of stuff, but I'm sending home some stuff. So, my bag won't be too much heavier, I guess, because I'm swapping some stuff out. But we're doing 19.6 miles today. Um, and yeah, and then tomorrow we're doing like 15. And then we're doing like 7 into... Parisburg on Saturday and probably get rained on because I think the rain's coming Friday night, Saturday morning. So. But uh, another cold one. We got two mountains to go up and we're going to be at 4,000 feet today for about six miles. So that'll be nice and cold and windy. But we, uh, I guess we'll see you down the road. Might be cold, but man, the leaves are changing. It's nice. There's a bunch of cows just behind those trees and they're just mooing like crazy. This is a lovely morning. I hope you can hear them. There are the cows. And a deer. There's a deer. Hey, little buddy. It's scary. It's okay. No, it's okay. It's okay. Well, no, it made it. I'm scared, little thing. So, oh, rhododendron. And uh, there's like a, a creek right there. This reminds me so much of where I used to go backpacking when I was a kid with, uh, with my family. A little place called Glade Creek. And uh, I think it's Prince, West Virginia. And uh, man, that was, those were some good times. I remember my dad. <laughs> I mean, we were, it was it was pretty comical. We were using legit, just backpacks, like not backpacking backpacks, like school backpacks. And uh, oh man, I think we started going there when I was like seven or eight, like after we moved to West Virginia. And uh, he was saying he would always tell us that it was like you know ten miles or something huge. Shannon and I went uh, went back a couple years ago. It's a mile. I think it took maybe 17 minutes or 20 minutes to get there, which is probably not even a mile because we probably weren't even doing three miles an hour. So, yeah, thought it was a massive haul, and it was not. But, man, good times were had there. I miss that place. This sucks. <laughs> All right. I'll help you. Need you help? I'm over it. Hang on. I think we should play some Mission Impossible music. I can't get back up. <laughs> okay, I got it. Good job, Shannon. <laughs> Woo! 
And you were incredibly graceful. It didn't look like you were trying to like drown or anything like that. <laughs> it's day 143. We haven't showered. There we go. I'll hold you over there. It's Thursday. We haven't showered since Sunday. And that's the same time we did laundry. And we still just got you're too clean for through hikers. <laughs> We've gotten that since Maine. And we are very okay with that. Because I don't want to look like a dirty scumbag. <laughs> I am not hiker trash. We are not hiker trash. Why would you want to refer to your piece of, to yourself as a piece of trash? Whatever. You might think it's endearing, but it's still a piece of trash. Don't do that. We're almost at the top of Kelly Knob. And it looked like it was going to be a bad climb on gut hooks. Not at all. It's been nice. So we're going to do a thousand foot in a thousand feet in 1.2 miles. It's It's been a cakewalk. Doesn't feel like it. Should be steep, but doesn't feel like it. All right, we'll see ya. Well, we've got about three miles to the top of this hill. we got to go 2,000 feet in three miles, so it's going to be a nice steady climb, but man, it is pretty. The trail kind of got washed out from all that rain a couple days ago, and it is really annoying because it's like uneven, rocky clumps of leaves. Ah, tripping hazards. But we've only got like eight ish miles left. It's about three o'clock, so we'll probably get to camp right around six. Woo! And this is the last stop. We've got maybe half a mile of enough left. And then we get to walk a ridge line for like six miles, which I'm sure that won't be cold. <laughs> right now it's actually kind of toasty. We're in our actual hiking clothes not wrapped up in our fleeces and ring gear. Oh, this is gonna hurt the feet after a while. We have made it to the top. We're moving quite a, uh, quite a clip too, three and a half hours, or yeah, about three and a half miles. And we did that in about an hour and 10 minutes. We're going three miles an hour up that hill. Good job, Maverick. What? Giving you compliments. Let's do that again. It's pretty. Pretty cold. <laughs> we made it to the top. We're at uh, Wind Rock. It's windy too. And yep, it's uh, rather chilly up here. This is really pretty. The sun is hitting just pretty much the tops of the trees. As you can see, it's right there. Pretty. Like a mile from camp. Getting there. We're actually not far from the captain's, but um, I saw in gut hooks that it was closed. Like there's no zip line or anything like that. And a lot of the comments said that it was closed, so I don't know if he opened up this year or not. So, because a lot of people said they saw signs and it said closed indefinitely. Um, we'll be going over or we'll be going past it tomorrow, so we'll see. Uh, we'll probably just see you in the morning. I don't know if I'm going to be taking video anymore this evening. Who knows, though? Good morning. It's day 144, and it's October uh, 27th. <laughs> and it is freezing, quite literally. It is, uh, it's, it's, I'm pretty sure it's like 30 degrees right now. It sucks. It is super cold. Um, yeah, 14.9 miles to go, and then we're staying at my cousin's tomorrow, because it's supposed to be even colder Saturday and Sunday. Woo. But then it's going to get warmer, according to the weather. I mean, just by a little bit. It's supposed to be a high of 70 today, so that's a plus. <laughs> so, all right. There's Shannon. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'll show you the thermometer. So this is the thermometer, and as you can see, it's like just above 30. Oh my lord. 
Oh, that's cold. So we just passed the captain, and um, it's like back. You gotta like go down through road entrance and stuff. There was no zip line though, but like I said, guest hooks, a lot of people commented and said it was closed. So I don't know. Um, so far, this is at least the second place in the past 100 miles that has been closed to hikers that was once free. And it's mainly because they have bad experiences with hikers. And we don't know that about the captains, but um, up in Daleville, there's, like, was it Daleville? No. Troutville. There is a, uh, <clears throat> a fire station that used to let um, hikers come by and like pretty much eat with the crew and um, shower and do laundry. So uh, for free. I mean, you, you probably had to bring, you, it was probably like donation or something like that, but pretty much free. And they closed it and they specifically stated it was because of hikers. So just don't, just don't be, don't be a butthead, you know, remember that your actions kind of follow through. Yeah, you're, st you're, you're still a person. Like no, nobody cares that you've hiked so many miles at all. <laughs> like really, nobody cares. And uh, you don't deserve anything, so be super gracious when anybody gives you anything, even if it's an apple. <laughs> like, not even joking, because, yeah, you screw it up for a lot of people if uh, you do the wrong thing. And it just, it kind of sucks, because we've kind of seen that throughout the trail. Like, we've met a lot of people that have said, you know, through hikers are, yeah, they're entitled. But a lot of people have said that they're most, like a lot of the hikers now, like, like they just, they're not what they used to be. Like a lot of people have stopped um, offering things that they used to offer to uh, through hikers just because they just don't want to deal with it anymore because they just think they can kind of take whatever they want or they just don't have to clean up after themselves or they deserve stuff. I mean, it's just, it's just, yeah. I mean, there, there are still good people out there, like people that actually hike and they're actually nice about it and they're not you know, buttheads, but yeah, just uh, try to encourage that behavior of <laughs> being gracious and being thankful for the littlest thing you get. All right, well, that's my rant on being a good person. We'll see. Oh, also, we don't have gloves, so we're wearing our backup socks. Because, <laughs> like I said, it was pretty much right at freezing this morning. We could still see our breath up until about 10 minutes ago. So, all right. We'll see you down the trail. It is still good morning. It's only 11 o'clock and we have stripped. It's supposed to be like a high of 70 today. And man, as soon as that sun came up, we made it two miles. I was already drenched in sweat, sweat, sweat. And um, Shannon was getting there and she just stripped the rest of her clothing. And uh, yeah, and tomorrow it's supposed to be like super cold or tomorrow night and then Sunday super cold again. So they're getting rain, or I guess we're getting rain. Um, I just want the weather to make up its mind. There she is. Yeah, just wants the weather to make up its mind. Cause yeah, it's like it's gonna be it's gonna be nice hiking weather. It's actually like a little bit too hot right now, but uh, no, it's just crazy because it's like I mean yesterday was bitter cold. Now today's we're literally in our all of our clothes the whole day. Yep. So yeah, whatever. It's supposed to be a low of like forty six tonight. So, we will not be freezing our toes off tonight, which will be awesome. Which means we might sleep in the shelter because it's going to rain in the morning. And I really don't like sleeping in that z Pax tent when it rains because we get wet. So, And we'll be in West Virginia in like a mile. <laughs> we like hug the border pretty much all day today. Like we go back and forth, back and forth. So, woo, take me home country roads. I can start singing that again. I won't. <laughs> We're at the Allegheny Trail. We are almost in West Virginia. It's like a 300, I guess it's 330 mile long trail. It runs uh, from south of the Mason Dixon line to the Appalachian Trail in Monroe County. Cool. And 17 miles to whatever it's uh, called, Ferrisburg. So right over there is West Virginia, also known as the best Virginia. We're gonna be walking in it for the next couple miles. I mean, it's literally, we're gonna be walking right on the border. So, awesome. We're in West Virginia now. 
Yeah. It's gonna be a good day. We pretty much walked the rest of the ridge for like 10 miles. It's a lovely sunny day. Awesome. My armpits are stinky. We are very, very stinky. Like we haven't oh, taken sticky. off. Oh, sticky, sticky. Ew. But uh, yeah, we haven't taken our shirts off since, since <laughs> we left uh, Daleville on Sunday, and it is now Friday. You might be wondering, it's like, well, have you taken your shorts off? Yes, because we've used the bathroom. <laughs> and yeah, we take our socks off every night because nobody wants a trench foot. So, eh, you know those women people. Okay, well, athletes foot Um, I get it in between my toes. And uh, I've actually only got it like twice, and I pretty much just put the, the, her, she, she gets it more than me because her feet sweat. But, um, I have really sweaty feet. Yeah, so she normally brings like spray, but since it's gonna get so cold, she moved to the, uh, whatever the stuff in the tube. Cream, that's the word. And uh, so I just borrow it. I, I think I've borrowed it like maybe two or three times on the whole trail. My feet don't really sweat. I mean, they do, but not that bad. I haven't had it since New York. And yeah, she hasn't had it since New York. She just, precautionary every now and then, she'll, uh, uh, spray your feet with it, so. Sorry, well, you see you down the trail. Walking under some power lines. We're probably a mile from camp now. Yeah, probably about a mile. And uh, we probably, we actually probably could make it to Parisburg tonight, but, no, oh well, I mean, it's what it is. It's a nice short day, 15 miles. <laughs> It's nice that we think a 15 mile day is short, but there's Shaniqua back there. And uh, yeah, it's weird, it keeps going hot, cold, hot, cold. Like right now, of course, it's super hot, but it's nice. But yeah, Sunday is the day that we want to avoid because the low is gonna be, I think like 29, and the high is gonna be like 40, 43. So I, uh, I'd rather not do that. <laughs> And, uh, but then it's gonna go back to like kind of normal temperatures, like a high of like 60, 60 ish, and then a low of like mid 40s. So, back to semi normal fall weather. And here's a lovely little view. We're getting real close to the shelter. And man, that's pretty. God, those knees hurt. Oh, sorry for all that shaking. I'm gonna go over this thing. Barbed wire. Fun times. Getting there. Heading up that way. We're like 0.2 from the shelf, so I think the shelf is just like right over that little knob there. Or hilltop, I guess. This is what we're walking through right now. It's kind of nice, but it's kind of annoying. Like, it's kind of softer, but it's, it's like lumpy. So, yeah. Here's another shelf down named Sturgis. And there's the shelter. It's kind of cool. We have made it to the shelter. Um, we have a fire pit, some firewood, and here's the shelter. It's actually a pretty nice shelter. Compared to the other ones that we've been passing, this is a really nice shelter. Yeah, yeah, compared to the other ones, this one actually... There's actually, there's enough space that you can actually lay down. Yeah, you can actually... Way. Yeah, most of the ones that we've run into are barely bigger than six feet long. They're so. like six foot one? Yeah. I've seen that stupid sea biscuit a lot lately. Yeah, God, you yeah. suck. Please don't do it this. In the, it was in the privy. Yeah, I yeah, I saw it in the privy as well. Oh, and somebody put their YouTube up there. Appalachian Jason, 2017. Everybody go there and tell them to stop writing on crap. Oh, it's annoying. 
And apparently it's just going to get worse. I guess the uh, uh, shelters down closer to Georgia are like really bad. The ones up at the start of Maine were kind of annoying. They were kind of bad and then they kind of teetered out. They were. They were about like this. Yeah, there's not much here at all, but yeah, it's just really annoying. I mean, nobody, nobody, just don't do that. It's annoying. <laughs> and this is why you should sweep shelters. <laughs> I mean, I've already swept it out once. Yeah, this is the second sweepage. So um, yeah, they get they get pretty gross. So. He's bound to die. Are we gonna do what they say can be done? We've got a long way to go and a short time to get there. I'm eastbound to watch no bandit run.